Happy Friday, damn Sammy. Really interesting job what we've got today. We're in Wordsborough, Barnsley. Um, I seen this. Uh, we started knocking off to put a, a new damp course in and uh, and some remedial work. And straight away, I've, I've noticed something. I thought people won't mind to see this on video. Um, it's it's a common problem in 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 a lot of properties in around this area. I don't know about up and down the country, probably. Um, and I'm just going to explain what happened. I've, I've explained on a, a few other videos why it happened, but I'm just going to show you. Um, so what we've got on floor here, if you look, is a, what's called a, a bitumen um, screed. So bitumen mastic screed. And what they used to do with these, with these screeds, with these bitumen mastic screeds, is they used to put it up at the top of the concrete floors or, um, wait, well, it were concrete floors. So originally when this was built, it would have been, it would have had Yorkstone flags on floor because this was built around about 1890, 1880. Yorkstone flags would have been in here and they'd have been, um, might not have been in there. They might, they might have even had like a pantry or a cellar in there. Um, I'm only guessing, but, from seeing other properties that at some point they'd have had a, lo a pantry lower so they could keep the uh, with a cold shelf in so they could keep the um, stuff fresh pre fridge fridges and refrigeration so york stone flags um maybe maybe timber in there or or, or whatever i'd have said york stone flags and then just like a, a lower a lower pantry just here under stairs so at some point them Yorkstone flags have been took out and the concrete floor has been put down. I don't know when, probably around about 1920s, 30s. So Yorkstone flags won't have been sat on any um, damp membrane. They'll have probably gone straight onto earth. So they'd have probably been getting wet or they'd have had some kind of moisture on them for different reasons. Uh, maybe not diagnosed correctly at, prop at time at, um, at the time, but they got took out, concrete floor down. Same again, concrete floor will have gone straight onto earth. Damp problems again. Now around 1920s and 1930s when council were building their properties, they did the same thing. They put these um, concrete floors in, straight onto earth. Now, an afterthought, when membranes started coming out, when, when, when membranes were a new system that went under, under floor and uh, damp proof courses, uh, plastic, then these concrete floors started becoming damp. Um, I'm saying plastic, didn't I? so it, it, had been, it had been bitching me again because when they built their them properties, they put um, a bitumen felt roll uh, as part of damp course. So you got so high, bitumen felt roll went on, but they're still concreted floors, they didn't put bitumen underneath. But this was an afterthought. So in around about 1940s and 50s, I'm guessing at date, so don't quote me. Uh, they came, they, they had a, a, a big scheme, a renovation, and they went through all council properties, putting this down, this, uh, this bitumen felt screed thing. Mastic, sorry, mastic screed uh, thing that went down in like sort of three courts or whatever, two or three courts. So you put a court down, then another court, and it got pushed into the thing. But what what they did, which is I've I've shown it in videos before, and I've just started knocking off, and it's on here. It's a classic example. So I'll uh, I'll just put it here, and I'll explain what 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 these did wrong as well. So this, yeah, this is a, this is a render that's on. Now, somebody's put a damp course in at some point, and they've obviously still been getting issues, but they've had issues with floor. But they've put this mastic asphalt, they've dropped it on top of concrete floor, but then they've gone up to existing render that's on. And this is a common problem in uh, these local authority houses. What they did was, they just put this mastic straight on. 
but they didn't cut a, a channel out, a plaster, they just went straight up to plaster. And that just bridges it straight away. So any moisture that's down here, we you see I'm poking my finger, under floor, is, is able to track above or at right back and come up your wall. Now, other thing what these have done is, obviously that's a problem from years ago, and they've still been getting issues. If you look at that wall there, so they've still been getting issues. Um, bottom bit, it is damp. I mean, it's bridged. There's all sorts of bridging going off down there. They've even skimmed right down at floor. But, um, so somebody's come along in later years and said, yeah, we can, we can fix that damp proofing. No problem. Do, and woman's probably said, yeah, but I'm gonna um, have to take my skirtings off. Oh no, we can do it without taking skirtings off. So they've cut above skirtings and then they've stuck a plasterboard in, but stuck it in with drywall adhesive. So they've still got rising damp. Now, I can see that they've, they've drilled a few oils there as well. But issue is, it's still bridging, it's touching wet plaster, so wet plaster onto wet plaster. Um, might not be rising damp coming up, but it's bridging, so it's allowing mo moisture to migrate above it. Um, and that's what's happening there. They've not took skirting off, so that you've got like a render skirting off, uh, render um, strip all the way on, and then they've put plasterboard up at the top. And then we, in fact, there's a bit of a mishmash because I've just took that off, and there's, there is some brown in as well. So there's all types of different issues. But I just thought it'd be interesting just to show you what happened in olden days um, and why there's a, there's a lot of damp issues in local authority houses and, and these where you've got this screed. Basically, they just screed it straight up to the wall and, and, and it's, just a, it's just a bridging. Um, and that's what bridging issues are. So we're gonna hack this off and then put a system in that we can guarantee for 10 years. Um, I could guarantee for 20 years, but insurance regulations, new insurance regulations that came out three years ago state that we can't get guarantees longer than 20 years. These insurance back ones, I could, I could go to and get an insurance back one, but not from PCA, theirs are only 10 year ones as well. These companies that do, 20 years, there's companies do 30 years as well. Um, so I'm not saying the in, but that's what we do, we do 10 years and uh, 10 years at a time. It'll probably last 20, probably last 30, because it's done right, we, we're doing it right. Um, so I'm confident that ours will last a, a long time, but we, uh, with new regulations, <laughs> We can only guarantee it for 10 years. And uh, it's not our fault, but it's just guidelines that we've been told. So, that's a Friday job for you. Um, we're doing alt room. And it's not a bad job because we like them when they're empty. I like to do jobs when they're empty, when houses are empty. It's better than having furniture in and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably show you another video once we've got backing on. I think this one, we might be just doing it, uh, I've got to make my mind up yet, but it might be a hybrid system, so there might be fast system on some of walls, but I think I'm gonna use um, render light. So we'll have to see once I've got it off, but it might be render light that goes on. Um, so it'd be like a day, day hacking off, day fixing uh, backing on, or replastering backing system, and then a day after skimming. So we'll have to see, but I'll, I'll do another video. Uh, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Uh, it's a bit more cloudy today, so uh, we're, uh, we're welcoming this bit of cool weather. See ya.